Hey everybody, it's time for more learning with little tweet and Mrs. Hill. So it's time for math. Um, today we are reviewing all that we've learned about 2D shapes, which remember are the flat shapes and 3D shapes, which are the solid shapes. Um, here's what you need. You need this paper right here. It's where we've been doing those exit tickets. So just where it says day 30. That's the only paper it says you actually need, but I noticed this extra paper in my packet, and I don't know if I just messed up and didn't use it at the right time, or if they didn't put it in the lesson. I'm not really sure what happened, but this is a good paper to do. If you guys wanna do an extra paper, this is a good one. It says shape jumble at the top. So I am gonna go ahead and pull that because I haven't incorporated that in any, any of my lessons yet. So if you have this paper, you can pull it too. Um, and then a pencil, and that's it. All right, go ahead, pause the video, get your materials. Did I forget to tell you the date? I think I did. I'm so sorry. It's Tuesday, May 12th, day 30 lessons. Now, pause the video and get your materials. Okay, friends, we're gonna go ahead and get started with a 3D shapes video. Okay guys, so it's time for us to review our 3D shapes and we're gonna do it in a fun way. So our lesson says to play something called Guess My Shapes, but it wants us to do like three shapes at a time. We're just gonna do one at a time. So Little Tweet is actually hiding a shape behind him. I don't know if you can see him. He is hiding a 3D or solid shape. And I'm going to tell you about this shape and when you figure out what the shape is, put your finger on your nose. Not in your nose, on your nose, okay? 
here we go. This 3D shape has six flat sides or faces. This 3D shape has a square on every side. Hmm. This 3D shape can stack. This 3D shape can slide. Are you ready? What do you think it is? One, two, three, whisper to me. It's a cube, right? Squares on every side. Good job, guys. All right, let's come on over here, a little tweet, and we'll get you a new shape. Okay, so little tweet has a new shape hiding behind him. This shape, it's a solid shape, a 3D shape, um, rolls. Now, if go ahead and think. There are several that roll. Hmm. This 3D shape can also stack. Hmm. This 3D shape has a circle at the top and a circle at the bottom. Did that help you guys out? What do you think it is? One, two, three, whisper to me. Cylinder. Here is a cylinder. Good job, guys. All right, little tweet, let's get another one. All right. This 3D shape also rolls. And it has no flat sides. It cannot stack or slide. It can only roll. Do you guys remember what that one's called? One, two, three, whisper to me. It's a sphere. The one that's kind of tricky to say. And remember, it's shaped like a ball, a sphere. Good. All right, let's get another one. Oh, see, I put the sphere down. It's trying to roll off the table. Here we go, a little tweet. Okay, so this solid shape that little tweet is hiding can also roll, but it kind of rolls in a circle. Like when you roll it, it kind of rolls in a circle. This 3D shape has a circle at the bottom and a point at the top. Do you remember what that one's called? It's a cone, like a party hat for little tweet or like an ice cream cone. So circle on the bottom, a point at the top. Okay. All right. So those are the four 3D shapes that we've learned about. That video we just watched talked about a new one though. So I wanted to talk to you about that real quick. It talked about a pyramid. So a pyramid is kind of similar to a cone, right? Because they both have points at the top, but I want to show you the bottoms. Ready? So the bottom face, oh, <gasps> The cone has a circle on the bottom. The cylinder, wait, what? That's not a cylinder. The cone has a circle on the bottom. The pyramid has a square on the bottom. And then the cone is like round around the edges, but the um, pyramid has triangles on every side. And I'll try to show you here, but it doesn't roll, it just, it lays flat. It doesn't roll like the cone does, okay? So this is a pyramid. Um, for those of you who want to learn a little bit extra challenge, there's also a shape called a rectangular prism. Actually, there's lots of other 3D shapes, but this is just one more. Rectangular prism um, has rectangles on every side. I think that two, these two sides can possibly be squares, but the sides are gonna be rectangles, okay? So it's sort of similar to a cube, except instead of squares, it has rectangles. That's called a rectangular prism, okay? All right, guys, um, so that's our review for 3D shapes. Let me show you what we're gonna do next. All right, guys, so now we're going to review our 2D shapes. Remember, those are our flat shapes. And we're going to use this little chart at the bottom, okay? So it says day 30. So we have 
all of the shapes, all of the 2D shapes or flat shapes that we learned, let's go ahead and review what those names are. We have circle, triangle, rectangle, square, hexagon, okay? Now, for each of these, you're going to answer these two questions. How many sides and how many corners? So for a circle, how many sides does a circle have? Zero. How many corners does a circle have? Zero. Okay, so we're first the top one is sides, the bottom one is corners. We're gonna I'm gonna do the next one with you. Triangle. How many sides? One, two, three, three sides. And how many corners or vertices? One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys do the rectangle, square, and hexagon, and then check back in with me and we can check your answers. Whoa, I have shapes falling all over the place. So you may go ahead and pause the video and do your paper. All right, everybody, let's check your answers. So we did the first two together. Now a rectangle has four sides and four corners. Did you guys get it? And then a square also has four sides and four corners. Did you get that one too? If not, you guys can fix your answers, okay? And then do you remember what this one's called? A hexagon. A hexagon has six sides and six corners. So let's see, next I'm gonna pull out this paper, the shape jumble. Now, if you already did this, that's okay, you can skip it. But like I said, I just didn't see this in any of the lessons, so I thought we might as well do it now. So at the top, it says, color all the circles red, all the triangles blue, and all the squares green. That is not that tricky. So circles are red, triangles are blue, squares are green. So you're just gonna color those in based on the color that it tells you to in the directions. And then down here, you have three questions. How many circles did you color? How many triangles did you color? How many squares did you color? So you'll just write, you'll count, and write how many you have of each shape. So if you would like to do that paper, go ahead, pause the video, and you can get to work. All right, everybody, we are all done with math for today. The last thing we have is science, so I hope you'll come back and join us for that too. Good job, everybody. You're rocking it. See you later.